It's Sunday night live from the Big Apple to La La Land and across the universe. It's the late Joey Reynolds show. Big J Sorensen, who are Joey's guests tonight? Thanks, Shotgun Tom Kelly in Los Angeles. Joey's got singer, songwriter, and a recording artist, Willie Nile. Classical and rock violin soloist, Alexander Marco. Six-time Tony Award nominee, Danny Burstein. Plus, Grammy-nominated singer and songwriter, Jan Close. And now, here's Joey! didn't make it to work tonight and I had to uh, get get into a dress and go to the parade uh, <laughs> it's amazing how we have all these parades in New York this is the gay pride parade day today uh, I was down in the village uh, and I saw a sparrow making a leather nest <laughs> it was a very interesting day though I'll tell you that much uh, the, uh, the usually I go to Starbucks for my coffee and, yeah. and sometimes I use the bathroom you know mm -hmm. because that's the only place you can go to the bathroom they you can't do it at the Port Authority anymore no. they took all the toilet seats away and there's no more phone booths so uh, here we are you know we, we have to use the bathroom that uh, wherever you can in New York City Starbucks is the closest one that, that has an actual <laughs> bathroom and today the dryer didn't work in there, you know, which is uh, not for my hair. I mean, for my <laughs> have your hands, you wet your hands, you, you know. Wipe it on your pants. And I, I, I was understanding today that there was a new crowd in the in the Starbucks and people all wanting to jam into that bathroom that's across uh, <laughs> all the genders. It's everybody. Yeah. Everybody's allowed. It's a free for all. Stand, yes. Yeah. I mean, it's like being in Paris. You know, <laughs> you stand there and pee while someone's sitting next to you. It's it's very charming. You know. <laughs> I don't. I don't mind. That's why it's I called mean, gay I grew, for real, I, I, guess. I have kids. You know, yeah. when you have children, you mm -hmm. have. They're always naked. Kids are always naked. Always, you know? yeah. But uh, not at 30 years old. No. You know, <laughs> you, you learn to put something. My on, kids do, know? but I don't know about yours. Yeah, well, <laughs> anyway, don't ruin my interrupt my speech here. Uh, I'm I'm on a roll. Okay. You know, I'm I'm going to get myself in trouble. You don't want to join <laughs> in. Here. I'm already on the line. Yes. You know that you're not supposed to talk like this. Nobody can make jokes about black people. No. Can't make jokes about women. Can't no. make jokes about gays. No. I don't know how the hell they do Saturday Night Live they, anymore, they, but they get away with it for Trump. some reason. That's but answer. we have nothing here to, that uh, violates anybody's senses except the fact that I'm I'm uh, wearing a suit that is given to me by a friend who was uh, in in Palm in Palm Springs, mm -hmm. I got Nick Virtue, whose brother did the guitar boogie shuffle. He nice. was uh, years ago. He had a pool and a house shaped like a guitar. You uh -huh. know, uh, the envy of Les Paul. Wow. So uh, uh, the guitar boogie shuffle now has been re-recorded. It was a '50s phenomenal hit yeah, if you're that yeah, old, but it's uh, been pre-recorded, re-recorded now by uh, a phenomenal artist by by Tom Petty. Yeah. And I think I got a little a little preview of it here. You got a little bit of that. musical show that we're going to have today. We've got a lot of musicians on here mm -hmm. today. Willie Nile, who's mm -hmm. in the Buffalo uh, Music Hall of Fame. Yes, he is. Which uh, they put me in for my Rats in My Room song, which... Uh, is is not does not qualify as music, but for some reason they they put me in there. I'm in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and I don't I don't play any instruments. No, you know. don't. I, I I admire the accordion. Yeah, but this is your instrument. This week, Jerry Lewis did not show for the uh, uh, fundraiser they had mm -hmm. for a new organization that that he started with a young kid right. from uh, from Australia who was a, a 14 year old. Now he's 15. Mm -hmm. uh, he's he's a young boy who had a television show in Australia. Lucky and Graham. Jerry came along and he put this deal together with the le legionnaires, legionnaire, legionnaires, legionnaires mm -hmm. of comedy. I keep yes. might call him legends. <laughs> And uh, and he was supposed to have uh, Martin Scorsese and and uh, Bob De Niro. Well, and they were all invited to come. Nobody showed. <laughs> it, it was me and a duck, you know. And we did a, we did a lot of interviews there. We were we were talking to all of the people involved. There were two. Who are those two guys who were doing the improv? Thing? Oh, the you improv guy. Oh, that, that was uh, Colin Mockery and uh, and Brad Sherwood. And what very, show were they on? They were, they, they were the, on whose line is it anyway? And they, funny they're very guys. good, very they were, improv. They're really good. Yeah, really funny. And they were funnier than me, so we're not using the tape. No, no. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, seriously, we 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 got screwed on the tape. Yeah, I mean, I don't something know that. something didn't turn out. You know, our digital presence in this marketplace. <laughs> we have a short shelf life. No, we've got a one hour show that seems to fall apart technically. You know. Uh, if it's uh, we're on radio, we pay for it. You mm. know, I mean, I'm the only guy here that has to pay to be on the air. Mm. And, uh, used to they used to pay us, remember? <laughs> now we pay them. Those were the days. I don't know friend. what the hell happened. All of a sudden, we got to pay them because they're so damn broke. You know, they don't have any money anymore on radio. They're, they're, if you listen to WINS, if it's it's the most unlistenable station God ever created. They got four thousand commercials on the weather. <laughs> you know, I mean, how do they get away with this? I mean, people, it's unlistenable. It is. And all the radio is the same. You know, now I mean, they they put there was. 10 minutes of commercials on one of these stations the other day on iHeart, you mm -hmm. know, with the KISS FM mm -hmm. in, in L.A. Mm -hmm. How do they get away with all I this stuff? Know. You know, I mean, when I got on the radio, you know what we used to do? We used to, well, first of all, we fixed all the contests so relatives won. Of course. That was one thing. Yeah. But another thing that we did was we never, never, never really got too far away from the public. You know, we played things that we thought the public liked, but mm -hmm. nobody does anything for the public anymore. Why would we? Uh, uh, probably because they're they're the listeners, and you know, uh, uh, people think that when you make a phone call uh, on a radio station, that you're going to be a voice in the uh, in, in the decision making of this country. Mm -hmm. And actually, all it is is another blowing in the wind. You know, it's a Bob Dylan thing. <laughs> speaking of Willie Nile, who's creeping in here now. Yeah. Willie, come on, sit down or somewhere, or pick up your instrument. We got you somewhere, and we got a couple of really great people with us today too, mm -hmm. who are going to join in with Willie. Danny Burstein is here, you know, Broadway star. An Emmy Award winning guy. That's great. Is that his music there? Yeah, that's one of the songs on the album. Positively Bob. That's uh, Bob Dylan's stuff with Willie and I. We were going to have with us uh, Butch uh, Carlin, you know, Bob, Bob Car uh, uh, George Dino. Carlin's brother. Right. And also with him would come Patrick, uh, mm -hmm. oh, what's his name? Butch Diener. Butch Dino, who, yeah. who managed the band. Right. That's right. Yeah. I forgot about him. Yeah. I know Butch. And they're connected to Woodstock. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. should know him. Know so, hi, Willie. How are you? I'm doing good, Joey. How you doing? Good nice to, to see you, you again. Yeah. Hi. I came to one of your Willie. concerts. I went over to the thing, but I you, you took so long to get on, I had to go home. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that was like Elvis Costello, who who has you stand, you know, at the beginning, and then he thinks he got a standing ovation, but actually, what it is is you don't you don't want to lose your seat, uh -huh. you know. But for two hours, you're standing there cheering him on. Wow. He's he's very good. Yeah, Elvis and Willie's great. Willie's a classic uh, artist, and uh, you know we have had never had him on the show before. No, not yet. No. And this is the first time he's got his uh, little acoustic guitar. It's nice to be here, and it's good to see you again. You too. I haven't seen you in a while since you were inducted. S inducted into the... Buffalo Hall of Fame. That's right. Yeah. You know, they'll, they'll induct anybody, so I was happy to go in. No, that's not true. <laughs> no, Come I'm on. just... There's, a, there's some royalty in there. Oh, no. It's a, that's a, it was an honor. It was a pleasure and an honor to be, yeah. be part I of mean, that. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're, you're, you're from there. Buffalo oh, yeah. is... Uh, I tell people I'm from Buffalo. Why can't I be from normal Paris? You know? <laughs> <laughs> but... But Buffalo is great. Uh, you know, I remember, you know, years back on uh, KBW FM, AM, when yeah. you were on the radio there, it yeah. was, you know, we all listened. It was, you, you sounded the, uh, sounded the charge and we all listened. It was, those were great days with you on the radio then. Well, there was only one station. You know, I mean, that does help. <laughs> there were more than. You know, then you corner the market a little bit. There was like. more than one station, but that was, you were, you were righteous. We had a ball listening oh, to you on the you. radio. And thank you, I appreciate that. And now I you're mean, uh, you're touring and you're going around with uh, with all your great rock and roll, which I still think we should have more of. Well, I'm I'm to, I've been touring. I just came back from Italy. I've got a new album that came out yesterday called Positively Bob. Willie Nile sings uh, Bob Dylan. It's a it's an album of Bob Dylan songs. Yeah. And uh, I went to a a year ago. It was Bob's 75th birthday, and in New York, I was invited to sing four songs. At, a, at the city winery, you know, celebrating Bob. Yeah. And I had a ball doing it. It was great, singing the great songs. And it struck me that some of the songs, how relevant they were to today's world and how much fun they were to play and sing. And so I thought, I'm going to make a record. I just did it out of love for the music. Did you make it here or in L.A.? I made it here. I made yeah. it in uh, in Brooklyn. Were you part of that when we all moved to L.A. for the No, the I missed music, that. No. The music business shifted, you know, to Laurel Canyon. We all got over there. And, it's always moving. Well, it's the, good, good weed. It's a movable feast. <laughs> 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 I miss that part of the party. But My, I, my I, daughter was, is growing marijuana, medical marijuana, of course she calls it. Is that so? Do you yeah. have a phone number? Yeah, I, I don't have a phone number. I got samples here along with the cannolis from Oliva. Oh, is that so? Oh, yeah. Well, those cannolis, have they're, they're hot. Yeah. They've got uh, some, some, what do they call it, hemp? 
Are no. those weak? Jason, Jason, Jason is, so, I, is so non I am the non drug person in the room. What are you talking about? I bring things up. You don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what? It's, a, it's a rope. That's all I Are know. those weak cannolis you got back there? Yeah, I guess you should roll with one hand and drive with the other. But you don't know how to do that, do you? And then I shouldn't tell you what I steered with. But it was it was a great it was, it was a great day for traffic in L.A. <laughs> I didn't I never moved there. I you know, played in L.A., but I never I, I moved to New York City when I got out of college in Buffalo, and I've been there on and off ever since. Yeah, well, this was the music capital of the world, you know. It's yeah. a good place for a writer, for a poet. There's so, yeah. there's, there's so much uh, going on, you know, rich, poor, everything in between, music, food, art. I love it. It's Mostly poor. Oh yeah, well yeah. that's the world. I, I I wish my wish for New York would be for the people who own the buildings to live in them, <laughs> because then they would change. You know, I mean this is like a rat's nest no. for a lot of for many apartments. You know, they don't have the air conditioners in the window. Uh, there's no disposals. There's no washer and dryer. You got it. Like I mean, don't they know this is 2017 and we live differently in the rest Joey, of the world here? Nothing's perfect. That's but you know people get by. You know, yeah, I mean, that's, that's why we have all these parades. You know, so we get out of the house. You got to do something. Did you go to that parade today? I passed by it. I lived down there. I've been running around doing stuff today. I saw yeah. some of it. It's always interesting. It's a great parade. It's uh, oh yeah. It's fascinating. It's like New York comes alive and. and uh, well, I had my my daughters were here when they were ten and thirteen, and we went to church on Fifth Avenue and walked out into that parade one mm -hmm. time. It was a little bit of a explanation I had to make <laughs> to the kids at that age. They didn't know what this was all about. Yeah. You know? We didn't even have the rainbow thing yet. They weren't mm. doing that yet. Mm -hmm. But then we weren't talking about cross gender and, you know, trans, whatever. Yeah. We weren't doing any of that. Now everything's got a name. Everything is a name. You got to be careful with everything. They you know, have letters now. It's not even a name, it's letters. We are offending people. You know, I, I went to my friend's house who are very gay and they have his and his towels. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's okay, but. You got to be careful with it. It's, people get very the parade, the parade is great. People have as like the fireworks. People have a lot of fun. There's music. You know, I, I find it fascinating. Yeah. You know, people come and there's all kinds of people on the planet, and uh, it's good for people to treat each other well. I'm for that. For we used to play life is like a, love. Li life is like a Rolling Stone by Bob Dylan because that was the one you go to the bathroom with. It was five <laughs> it was minutes long. Six and a half minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna play something tonight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll sing one of the songs off of uh, this new album. Uh, and Danny and Jan Closer here. They're gonna sing along with this. Yeah, thing? Danny and Jan are gonna sing along with me. We were playing in the back, and I said, "Come on, let's join me on this good. one." Actually, I'll dedicate this to your daughter in uh, the uh, medical marijuana. <laughs> This is uh, one, of, one of Bob's, uh, Bob Dylan wrote so many great songs and uh, to celebrate him has been an honor and, and a joy and we had fun with it. And this is one of the songs on this record called Positively Bob. Yeah. Well, they'll stone you when you're trying to be so good. They'll stone you just like they said they would. They'll stone you when you're trying to go home. They'll stone you when you're there all alone But I would not feel so all alone Everybody must get stoned <laughs> We'll stone you when you're walking on the street They'll stone you when you're trying to keep your seat They'll stone you when you're walking on the floor They'll stone you when you're knocking on the door Yes, but I would not feel so all alone Joey, one time Everybody must get stoned They'll stone you when you're at the breakfast table They'll stone you when you are young and able They'll stone you when you're trying to make a buck And they'll stone you and then they'll say good luck But I would not feel so all alone Say what? But I would not feel so all alone Come on! Well I would not feel so all alone Because Everybody must get stoned They'll stone you and they'll say that it's the end They'll stone you and then they'll come back again They'll stone you when you're riding in your car They'll stone you when you're playing your guitar Get closer to the mic I would not feel so all alone Because everybody must get stoned Well, they'll stone you when you're sitting drinking wine They'll stone you when you're having a good time They'll stone you when you're going for a drive They'll stone you when you're on Sunday night live Yes, but I would not feel so all alone Say what? But I would not feel so all alone One more. But I would not feel so all alone Because everybody must get stoned Say what? Everybody 
Everybody must get stoned. Everybody must get stoned. And we're going to dedicate that to the Stone Wall tonight. <laughs> That's, That's great. Oh, That's really great. Well. You're 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 such a great artist. Why do we it. Why do we go back to those songs now? Well, a great song is a great song. It doesn't matter when it was written. Shakespeare is still great. And Bob, the, what struck me about this a year ago, his birthday party, when we were singing his songs, was how the songs hold up as beautiful love songs. There's a song called The Hard Rains Are Gonna Fall oh, yeah. about the world. And he was 21 years old when he wrote it. And it's still pertinent, still relevant. And it's fun. I mean, you sing a song like that. In front well, how of, about Phil Oaks, uh, Tops yeah, of the World? Yeah. I mean, you were, we're back to that again. I knew Phil Oaks. I, I met years ago when he was hanging at Folk City. But you're ha you have the same esteem. You're that kind of an artist. You're the same thing. When I well, went to NYU, I was at the Kettle of Fish. Thanks for saying that. that? Well, no, no, it's true. You yeah. know, remember the Kettle of Fish? I sure do. That? We used to go over there. And, Great and hamburgers. Was, Always, and, and at Trudy Heller's, that was another place, that was sure. another place. So we, we hung around, I went to NYU, you know, we were yeah. at the uh, drug capital of the world, here we're back to that again. But it was, <laughs> the, 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 there was poetry here, you know, the beat poets, right. you know, uh, the folk boom, the rock, rock was happening, the, the Love and Spoonful, Jimi Hendrix was playing in the village. You know, it was a very fertile time yeah. for music, and I think that a great song is a great song, whether it's I Can't Get No Satisfaction or Don't Be Cruel or, you know, Rainy Day Women, you know. Uh, yeah. I just love good music, and I wanted to celebrate Bob, and I have four grandchildren. Yeah. If nothing else, they're going to know Bob Dylan now because they all have the records. They're singing. My two-year-old in the back seat of the car singing, Hard Rains Are Gonna Fall. It's a hard, it's a hard... <laughs> That's priceless. So anyway, I think a great song is a great song. When I was uh, uh, going to NYU, we would go out, uh, uh, speaking of that neighborhood, you know, Washington Square. Sure. And there was a women's prison. And oh, yeah, yeah. They'd that? wave out the windows. They'd wave yeah. out the window. Yeah, we used to throw them a joint. <laughs> uh, it was a very, <laughs> it was a strange, it was, I mean, it you was, know, that was a culture. In the 60s, we, yeah. we really, we did a lot, we dropped a lot of stuff. It was a good, <laughs> that, that prison, I remember the women would be calling out from the, from the windows high up, people would be yelling up at yeah. them. Yeah, well that was why, they wanted the dope, Well, you know. it was kind of, yeah, I don't know who can <laughs> throw They wanted to get out of there. I don't know there. who That's can throw a was. joint ten stories up. <laughs> I remember the women's prison on 6th Avenue uh, near 9th Street, 8th Street. Yeah. And right around the corner was St. Vincent's Hospital where uh, we all wound up. That's right. <laughs> one of my, 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 sec my daughter, one of my oldest daughter was born there at St. Vincent's. Yeah. yeah. You know, they closed that and turned it into a condominium. Yeah. Everything's changed, though. Everything's upside down from what it was. You know, or, uh, I, I think the, probably the, my favorite of all the writers for all purposes would be Cole Porter because oh, he, yeah. he wrote Porter. Anything Goes. Brilliant. And we're in that generation now where nobody really knows what they're supposed to do, so anything goes. Well, there's also, there's a, I was telling someone earlier, the, Hemingway wrote a book called A Movable Feast right. about life in Paris in the 20s and how the party moved from place to place. Well, whether it's rock and roll or whether it's blues, any kind of music or c the culture, it moves. Whether it's Liverpool right. with the Beatles or, you know, New York City with the the, the folk thing or or Austin, the, the, it's a movable feast. Things change, and we, the more you can roll with it, the better off. Well, you know, we had an LA experience. I, I, I being from Buffalo, you know, I mean, Buffalo's really not. Uh, Buffalo's awesome. It's not the entertainment center of the world. It no, is now. You know, it's probably coming back. You have, oh my God, there's going to be a two-hour train. At some point from New York to Buffalo, guys like Elon Musk and all these people are investing big time. Buffalo is totally. Well, Buffalo has great musicians. I was getting to that. And yeah. especially jazz, too. You know, I mean, I remember Nina Simone. Oh, yeah. She closed her piano on my hand when I told some bad racial jokes. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, I had her on the show. You know, Did she you really? closed her. Oh, yeah. Oh, she, she didn't stand for any of my crap. Uh, I'm friends with her daughter, who is also called Simone, you know. Oh. And uh, the, the kids of these great artists, yeah. now Dylan didn't have any, but but the uh, the kids of some of the great artists, Richard Pryor's no, daughter Dylan is has, Rain. Dylan, Dylan's got Dylan, kids. Dylan uh, Jacob Dylan, Jacob Dylan. Wallflowers. Yeah. You sing? Yeah. Jacob's a yeah, buddy of mine. Does he ever? Yeah. He's very good. Jacob yeah. Dylan's a good buddy of mine, yeah. and he has a band, The Wallflowers. They've had a bunch of hits. Oh, a great him. band. He's a great songwriter. Yeah. He's uh, yeah, got, well, where's Paul McCartney's kid? Uh, he's got a kid, he's James. Got a, he's got James he's, McCartney makes records. Yeah, he does. His daughter Stella is a is a world famous designer. Designer, yeah. yeah. Uh, kid, there's you know, and, and there's yeah, they got kids. There's kids everywhere. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they're never, and they're, they're, never, they're yeah. never off the payroll. Oh, man. <laughs> so I'm glad you're here. I mean, yeah. you're such a good guy. Yeah, I'm and, happy to be and here. And you're, you're in good company because, you know, you're with a... Oh, my God, yes. You're, you're with a, one of my favorite artists in the world uh, is Jan Close. And yep. he's, you know, he's from, he was raised, he's from Germany. 
and and having been raised as a an exchange student in Cleveland, which is the other mistake on the lake. Wow. Uh, you know, I mean, he he's on the other side of that. Well, Cleveland so. is great. Come on, up there, Buffalo, yeah, and Cleveland, yeah, Rock. Oh, anyway, Ohio. so so you were you were you went you were an exchange student in I Cleveland. Was. I was an exchange student in Cleveland, Ohio. Well, we got to turn yeah, his mic yeah. up a little bit here, all right? Because I want to hear you. Hi, 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 Joey. hi, Jan. Hi. How are hey, you? Hey, I'm great. How are you? Good, great. So you're on the show with us tonight, yeah. I, and I was, and it's your birthday today. Yes, it is. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yes, we broke up the the bully backstage. How old are you? I don't remember. Don't remember. <laughs> <That's what it's laughs> but you're traveling the world now. I mean, you come from yeah. Europe, and then you come over here to Cleveland, mm. which is a, a real cross addiction. Mm. And then you you learn to play all of these great songs, and mm. and you are an original songwriter now. Yes. Yeah, Do you thanks. know that, Willie? Oh, Do you have sure. any idea yeah, about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time I mm. saw him was down in Rockwood at one of the clubs downtown. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's he's come such a long way too, because mm. I remember when he used to hang around with me in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you broke me in. It was good. Yeah, yeah, it was true. We we yeah. we had we've had a lot of uh, a lot Less, of experience. Lessons mm -hmm. from the master, yeah. indeed. No, mm -hmm. you know what? I I I love doing this show because it's 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 just us, mm -hmm. yeah. and and it's not about any format. It's not about any particular music. We don't have to live up to any standard. Yeah. Uh, and 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 for the most part, we got to do some commercials. Though yeah, I guess we, we got a break for yeah, that. Yeah. But you know, you, you can't do too much uh, damage on a show like this because uh, we can do whatever the hell we want, and the broadcast people don't interfere because they don't know anything. You know, they, they their idea, and I hate to say it on broadcast facility, but I have to. You know, uh, the broadcast people are ignorant to. The, the public well it's a business and what you're able yeah. to do here the thing is it's a business and people watch the bottom line but what's special about your show and what's good about this is people can be real you can have a real conversation and talk about all kinds of things Amen. that's interesting talk yeah. you know, talk radio can be great mm -hmm. and you're great at it so. well we should have we should have an fcc that really takes all the stations that went bad and take them back and hand them out again yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, i mean i don't know what the hell yeah. they're thinking i guess they have to all... ask for it like you did well, it's Congress. Yeah. You know, I mean, you, the Congress. You see what happens to those guys. They're going to be in trouble all the time now because they can't. They can't get out of their own way. No. But you got the internet and TV, so you got it covered. You're fine. All right. right, let me say this: landlords. I said earlier should live in the apartments they rent. I think Congress ought to have the same things we have. They ought to have the same medical benefits, the same retirement benefits. We don't have any. Yeah, and in Buffalo, good, that's a good idea. We thought we were going to spend the rest of our lives in a steel plant, you know, working yeah. until they close them and move them to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming back, though. They're coming back. Yeah, they are. So are we. All right, we got to do a break. All right, the late Joey Reynolds show is brought to you by TiedInMedia.com. Did I die? No, you didn't. Tied in Media. <laughs> tomorrow, maybe tonight. Tied in Media <laughs> takes the most successful brands, e-tailers, and millennialpreneurs to the next level. T-I-E-D-I-N Media.com. This is Sunday Night Live with the late Joey Reynolds Show. Today, I will help save a life. Today, I will make a positive impact on my community. Today, I will network for a cure. Today, I will become a go-giver. Together, we will make a difference. Our mission at PinkTie.org is to bring the business community together to support organizations that have a direct impact on our community. Join a growing movement that will contribute $100,000 to local charities each quarter. Visit PinkTie.org and join us in making a difference. Life in Plainview, Long Island is about to get sweeter. Plainview Chocolate Works will be opening their sweet doors in June, offering premium Belgian chocolate delights. Get a mouth-watering candy selection to satisfy the most sophisticated sweet tooth. Oh, this is sweet. Have the ultimate party experience inside a hands-on chocolate studio. Plus, get custom-branded chocolate gifts that will take your personalized party favors and corporate gifts to a sweet new dimension. Plainview Chocolate Works creates one-of-a-kind 3D chocolate chocolate sculptures, customized gift baskets for any profession or occasion, dipped to perfection platters, homemade truffles, and more. You'll love giving back to the Long Island community with Chocolate Charity, as 5% of your Plainview Chocolate Works purchases are donated back to PinkTie.org. Their efforts support charitable organizations in the local community. Learn how your purchases are making a difference, and soon, details about the Plainview Chocolate Works grand opening date and festivities. Call 516-252-3855 or visit PinkTie.org back Splash Chocolate Works. You found a true variety show with Sunday Night Live audio and video. It's the late Joey Reynolds show. There he is in the flesh. What are we doing? <laughs> We're back on here. No, I don't care about that. I mean, what are we doing with these people out here? Well, today? young. Are young. we paying them? 
Well, are we? I don't know. No. <laughs> so I, don't somebody expect, needs don't expect get, much of a get my pants. <laughs> uh, you know, Danny Danny Burstein is here, mm -hmm. and uh, he's fine, fine guy. Oh. You know anything about him at all? Great actor. I know you don't go to the theater. I know you don't. This is not a this is not a, a bring you down no thing. But you you're not a you're you're not a Broadway theater guy. Probably because it costs a lot of money to leave Tom's River. <laughs> <laughs> now it's Lakewood. <laughs> and La Lakewood had, Howell Township had a tornado. They had two. Yeah, yeah, I know. It didn't do enough damage no, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> should have knocked down our old radio station. should have knocked there. down <laughs> the towers. <laughs> we had a station in Lakewood, and I had, I, remember what I did? I used to have, I tried to get the women to listen, so we had the Chippendale dancers. Yes, that was On radio. Yes, it Which is really stupid. Yeah. You know? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> that was like that hand wrestling thing I did on radio. <laughs> <laughs> but the Chipp <laughs> Chippendale dancers, I bet, was good for you, though. Well, no, no, the Holiday Inn, which was uh, uh, duller than Doggy Doo. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> really, they had, they had. I met my my wife there. Remember that? Yeah. But I, but I, she was with another guy. I wasn't supposed to meet her there. Correct. Yes. <laughs> I ran into her. <laughs> no, seriously, they had a, a holiday in, and we had a, a women's thing. We called yeah. it the Women's Feminine Forum. Yes. And we had women invited from all over Howell Township because mm -hmm. they were bored. You know, had nothing to do. This is early housewives now, right, right. 1976. Yeah. Got it. And, they, and it was the year of the uh, gambling uh, in, in New Jersey. Yeah. And their big tap dance, they always lie. Everybody always lies when they want laws to pass. You know, they like the bike lane that we have here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a ridiculous uh, attempt at being Amsterdam. Yeah. If they had the hookers in the window and then, the bikes, then you got some. <laughs> exactly. You know. But anyway, this this thing here with uh, with with uh, Jersey and and wanting to have gambling, they said they're going to give all the money to the schools the seniors. and the seniors, and they never did any of that. Uh, everybody opened a casino and made a lot of money, but they never did anything around it. You know, the, the place was oh, a, a block away from the boardwalk was Saigon at the end of the war. Yeah, I mean, it was oh, yeah. really not was uh, not pretty, hideous. not no, pretty. It was hideous. And and I had uh, uh, Wayne Newton at the time. Don't forget, I was president of his company. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and I got in trouble. Did you ever hear about this thing? I don't know if I ever told. I you. I don't know. Uh, I took the. We hadn't been to Atlantic City yet. You know, they had one casino. They had the boardwalk, was it? The, was the thing? Uh, uh, it was Resorts was the first one. Resorts International? Yeah, that was the I first know Frank one. Sinatra did one of them. Yeah, he had a suite mm -hmm. there. Well, I don't know how sweet it was. It was. It was. <laughs> <laughs> but we had we we were uh, never doing Atlantic City, and I always thought I was in Vegas. You know, we are in mm -hmm. Vegas. Mm -hmm. And and we had billboards uh, that I put up with Flamingo. The Flamingo Hotel in Las Vegas had these beautiful, exquisite dancing women who were those cat eyes, you know, mm -hmm. and they're, they're all gorgeous mm -hmm. women. And they were, uh, they were the ponies, what they call ponies. Because the Hilton Hotel, Hilton owned the Flamingo. They had Elvis at the other Hilton, and they had the girls down here at this one, across from the MGM and the uh, Caesars. Mm -hmm. So the Flamingo girls were exquisite. Exquisite. I mean, not these are not the Rockettes who had just pretty legs. These were just the most gorgeous girls you ever saw in your life. So I took a billboard with their pictures on it. And I made these beautiful display, and I put the billboards up that said, Atlantic City doesn't have the Vegas notion. Ooh. Huh. And I almost got fired. Yeah, that's a good line, though. Uh, it's a great not, line. Not for, not for Wayne Newton, <laughs> no, not who for was him. about to work in. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what a great and line. Then, then we had him, and, and, and you know, uh, the gay people uh, uh, at that time were uh, disco. You know, yeah, a lot of dance yeah, and disco. Was. And Wayne was not particularly uh, homo-friendly. Oh. Well, he wasn't. I mean, you know, he was an Indian guy from Virginia who mm -hmm. really grew up narrow. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is true. Sure. I mean, you tell true stories like this. Yeah. And, and, and when he we, he decided to put out a disco record. Yeah. I mean, it was so unlike yeah. Dunk O'Shane. I remember that. You know, and it was called uh, oh, uh, You Dance Into My Life or yes, something. Yes, You know? Walked Into My Life. You Stepped and, Into and My I, Life. So what I did was I made a deal with Walt Disney Company. Uh, they wanted to have what I had, which was a star-shaped disc. It was a 12-inch star-shaped disc. Mm -hmm. And I had it for Wayne Newton because he was the biggest star in Vegas. He was, yeah. And we did that thing, and we had a party at the... Uh, I forget the hotel it was, the Boardwalk Regency, I think it's called. I forget what it was called. But but uh, at the top of the place, I had all of these uh, disc jockeys who were dance disc jockeys, and they're basically, it's a gay community. A lot of them were. No, not, not all. No, no, no but, you yeah. know, that's that was the culture. The culture was, was dance. So I brought uh, Wayne... And Wayne didn't want to shake anybody's hand. <laughs> really? You know, uh, <laughs> we moved him along. You oh, know, he man. thought he was going to catch something. <laughs> and uh, and I said, oh, well, you're, you're certainly not going to catch a hit. 
Yeah, really. Not that way. No. No. (laughs) (laughs) So my my brother-in-law works at an Arco gas station. (laughs) And as Wayne is shaking hands, I had to tell him the names of all the disc jockeys as we went along on the reception line. Oh, wow. And uh, and I said, this is uh, Kenny. This is my brother-in-law, Kenny from Arco. <laughs> and he says, oh, yes, we love WRKO. And I thought, oh, <laughs> damn. Not what we're doing. No, no, no. <laughs> Out of his element. But anyway, the, the record went to the toilet in yeah, the sky. Yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> and Wayne went on, you know, to do to do what yeah, uh, Jan Klos superstar. does, which is a German song. Danke schön. I could do a German song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that a German song, Danke schön? Well, it's certainly, you know, is written in German, at least. The title is yeah. <laughs> good answer. Yeah, really good. So, Jan, uh, you, you saw Willie Niles here. You jumped yeah. in with us today. Did, did you yeah. did you like the concert that we had today? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, Willie's yeah. fantastic. You know, I mean, he's uh, he's an institution. You know, and uh, we run into each other ever so often in the scene and here in New York. Even though I travel a lot now, yeah. But uh, yeah, Willie's great. You know, and he's a great guy. You know, yeah, he's, he's just he's guy. he's inviting. He's open. We were just hanging out. He started playing. I started playing. That was it. You know, it was easy, and that's how music should be. You and know? That's you, how they ended up in here. Do, do you know that? That's how uh, we ended up in I here. always thought of uh, of Jan. He he writes original songs. I always thought of him as being the closest thing to Paul McCartney. I've said that on the mm. air too before. Oh. For some reason, I have heard that before. That's lofty. So yes. thank you for no. Well, it's a wonderful that. compliment. You know, yeah. and he's still working, which is he is. Uh, yeah, yeah, and he's a he's a great writer. Not bad he's, for an old guy. No, no, and he's he's had a great run. Yeah. And it's still going. And he's going to be here at Madison Square Garden. Yeah, yeah. I've seen him here at, at Madison Square Garden. I yeah. saw him here a few years ago with his band. It was great. Yeah. Well, it's now, a great show. Uh, what What are you working on these days? Uh, I'm working on a new album. Yeah. And uh, I'm working on a, a it's a, a record we're doing in South Africa, actually, where I was raised. Yeah. Um, I got involved with a uh, through a BMI songwriting camp. I met a lot of South African artists and invited them to be a part of the record. We partnered up with the Academy of Sound and Desmond Tutu's uh, Tutu Desk Organization. So we're running a pledge music campaign to raise money for the record and for Tutu Desk. And uh, yeah, we have all the basics recorded. And then uh, I have a show, a couple of shows in New York and New Jersey this, this week and, and next couple of weeks. And then I'm heading back to South Africa to finish the record, play some shows, do another BMI camp. I'm a BMI writer. And uh, then the record will come out in January. And oh, then I do, great. I mean, I do all kinds of other stuff. You know, I act, I, I write, I'm, you know, I sing, I, I, I just uh, try to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> Don't doing things for money? Doing what I love, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, doing music for money. Hey, what a concept. <laughs> and, and, and I remember Chris used to play the, the bass with you. That's right, yeah, Chris Maroff. Yeah, he was my bass player for a long time. He actually moved back to, to uh, Indiana. I like him. He With was his, great. he was fabulous. And he actually, when I tour in Chicago or play in, in play Indiana or even even Ohio, he comes out and he plays the shows with me. Well, so we still to, play together. We, we we would take him home in in the car after. With his play. upright bass and the yeah. wheel. Yeah, because no, classic, he would he yeah. would take, carry that on the subway. Mm. You no, know. he's got a wheel. Yeah, <laughs> the wheel used to always get stuck, and he would never get it fixed. It used to drive me nuts. <laughs> it used to drive me nuts, and it would like turn, like he would like push forward. We like heading for the train, and the wheel would go bloop, <laughs> <laughs> and we'd have to stop and like miss the train. And we'd be like, "Dude, come on, man!" <laughs> yeah. Something you can't do in L.A. Something you can't know. You have to have a car there. You yeah. know. I think, uh, have you yeah. worked there? You've been working. Yeah, yeah. We're on the air there. I like to mention him once in a while so that people get Chris? the idea that we are connected. L A. L A. L A. Yeah, sure. I mean, I play shows there probably once, twice a year. Play out there. Play San Diego. Play L A. Santa Barbara, San Francisco. Go up the coast, Portland. One of the co-writers on the record is Larry Beckett, who was Tim Buckley's lyricist. He lives in in Portland, so we got together and write. And uh, yeah, so. What's your, latest, as, what's your latest song? You're going to play for us? Yeah, I'm going to play you a, a new song that's Good. not out yet. All right. So do you want to hear that? Mm-hmm. You are now happy birthday. How old? I don't remember, darling. I told <laughs> Here we you. Go, yeah. All right. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I think if it's like, you know, they say it's not, a, it's not okay to ask ladies that, you know. So why is it okay to ask men? Yeah. You know? Uh-oh. Here we go. One of those trans. There's a song there. <laughs> this is called Love High. Guess I got a little excited, maybe even just a little bit frightened. You appeared like a bolt of lightning, heavy rain, thunder riding high. Wanted, haunted, I was 
I'm close. Nice. Wow. Beautiful. Where's Beautiful. the audience? They should be applauding. We really need we need to have an audience. <laughs> yeah, it's great. You know, yeah. I want to play records again. You, I just got jockage. You got to take a break here? No, in a minute. Let's let's talk to, let's talk to Danny first. Oh, I thought you wanted to take a break. No, no, we will. I'm minute. looking at this clock. We will. We will. I know that Don't you get real it. nervous no, about I'm, it. I'm, I'm always nervous. So yeah. <laughs> you know, we have a, a, a show here that's got a few sponsors, and one of them is the Pink Tie, mm -hmm. which is the uh, cancer organization. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm... Primarily raising money for... To fight cancer. Yeah. To fight cancer these days, yeah. but other charities as well. Right. Now, I had a woman sign this thing. She's the housewife from Atlanta. Right. Ten years on the show. What's uh, her name? Uh, her name... Was uh, Kenya, uh, Kenya Moore. Kenya Moore. That's right. And she was... She's beautiful, She's tall, gorgeous. statuesque. Yeah. Yeah. And we did some video with her, which also didn't make it, That's right. you know, it's today. Okay. Right. But we went to the Jerry Lewis thing. It was not all right. The uh, thing didn't make it. And we also had uh, a couple of interviews with people who were... Very talented, mm -hmm. and uh, and there's some a doctor who runs the NYU hospitals. Mm -hmm. which I thought he was a terrific guest. Wonderful people. And we didn't, we just didn't make it on the on the technical side. No. So we're going to have to do this all over again next Monday at Cipriani. Yeah. The, uh, With nobody else there, just us. Well, the guy in the bathroom had white gloves. <laughs> just <laughs> waiting for his test. Very expensive. You know? <laughs> but we had this week was a good week. I went to yeah. Tony uh, uh, Danza had a fundraiser mm -hmm. for the. Police Athletic League. Mm -hmm. I went to that thing, and mm -hmm. I hosted uh, Karen King on. She sang. What was it Thursday night? I think it was Wednesday. over at uh, at the uh, Metropolitan. No, at the I was going to say Metropolitan. That's that's uh, Marilyn May. Mm -hmm. uh, the Cutting Room. The cutting Room. So I introduced that and mm -hmm. had a good night with Karen King. Karen's Cha Cha's wife. Yeah. Right. But this has been a good musical week, and mm -hmm. now you know, uh, capping it off on Sunday with uh, Jan Close here and mm -hmm. Willie Niles, mm -hmm. and of course Danny Burstein, mm -hmm. who has no talent at all. No, we're going to have him <laughs> on in a minute, so we need to break. Now. Yeah, let's right. take a break. Let's take a break. The Lake Joey Reynolds Show is brought to you by Leap Edu. Become part of the high-paying, fast-paced New York real estate industry. Call 844-303-5327 or go to leapedu.com. This is Sunday Night Live with the late 
Joey Reynolds Show. Social media is the marketing sensation. Every day, there are over 1 billion likes and tweets around the world. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and others have taken over as the number one form of communication. Take advantage of this phenomenon. Talk with TideInMedia.com about building a vital social media strategy. Go to TideInMedia.com. That's TideInMedia.com. They'll help guide your business through social media, web development, and marketing. Building your brand and taking your business to the next level is what Tide In Media does. Many of Tide In Media's clients have been featured on Fox News, People Magazine, MTV, and other top-tier networks. The most successful businesses are leveraging the Internet. Follow in the footsteps of the late Joey Reynolds Show and visit TideInMedia.com. That's TideInMedia.com. Or call Tide In Media today at 844-373-8000. 433. That's 844-373-8433. And tell them the late Joey Reynolds Show sent you. Are you in debt? Can't make your monthly bills? Are you making your payments but the balances aren't going down? Bankruptcy might be right for you. Don't be fooled by debt consolidation. The process is expensive and can take as long as five years. Debt consolidation is a business. Bankruptcy is the law. Go now to nybankruptcy.com. Schedule a free consultation with a duly licensed attorney. Don't put your financial life on freeze for five years. Start rebuilding your credit in as little as 90 days. Debt settlement? Most people can't settle their debt because they don't have the money. Bankruptcy is your fresh start. Go now to nybankruptcy.com to schedule your free consultation. Your financial life will be reviewed by a duly licensed New York attorney. Each case must be reviewed and there are rules that apply. Not all debt is dischargeable. Not all people will qualify. Bankruptcy is not the end. Bankruptcy is the beginning. Visit nybankruptcy.com today. You can listen on air or online. Plus, watch the late Joey Reynolds show right now with streaming video at SundayNightLive.com. A screaming video? Streaming. A, streaming. A scream. Well, screaming too. But somebody peed in the street. You think? Yeah, I think so. <sighs> tonight. Uh, you know, we have a. I, am I preoccupied with a lot? Must of be. I don't know. Sexual bathroom. innuendo. No bathroom. That's tonight. because so we have the. Pride parade. Is that what it is? Well, yeah, it's about sex. I mean, what else is it about? You know, well, I, I think it's about more than float. sex. But no, it's not. It's not about more. I Fine. mean, it's about civil rights and right. all that business, yeah, that of too. course, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Nobody's stopping anybody from doing anything in this country anymore. No, it doesn't appear you know, that I, way. My kids have running shoes on. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I got I got tread marks on my back <laughs> from the car. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, what, 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 what I was going to say is I saw the my favorite float was – I saw a float with a couch on it. Yeah. There's a bar called Therapy. And and it just says Therapy with the couch going by on the wow, floor. Wow, that's great. That to me was that's, funny. Yeah, it is. Goodness it's clever, funny. you know. There's Very. there's a lot of a uh, lot of creativity, and and that's what I like about mm -hmm. all of this. And the Puerto Rican parade, you know, there, there's always flack. The only parade that goes up Fifth Avenue is the Columbus Day Parade. Italians always going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> always. Because you can say that. Dan, well, because I am I one. Can't. <laughs> yes, and if I were black, you should get out of the way. I got some jokes. <laughs> Danny Burstein is here, and he's a he's a great actor, and, mm -hmm. and he's going to do Shakespeare in the Park, which is great. It's That's free, right. free. It is for free, the public. Yeah, Central I'm doing Park. Midsummer Night's Dream there. Wonderful. Are but you playing the the which which I'm part? I'm playing Bottom, the character that turns into an ass. Don't say that so. these days with this gay pride thing. Oh uh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Tell everybody you're a Bottom. You're in trouble. <laughs> I, I, I have to say. I've heard that joke a lot lately. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it runs from uh, July 11th through August 13th. Yeah. And it's a great, great show. One of the classics. And um, it's really wonderful to be a part of it. Felicia Rashad is in the show oh, as yeah, well. She's great. Richard Poe, um, Anna Lee Ashford, who just won a Tony Award yeah. last year. You have a few of them. What do you have? Well, for? I have six Tony nominations. I have a, yeah. a several uh, Drama Desk Awards and Outer Critics Circle Awards. And, and you were a regular, regular on Law and Order, too. Uh, I've done a bunch of stuff on Law yeah. and Order, yeah. And a lot of shows. And uh, had a recurring role on Boardwalk Empire mm -hmm. as well. I love that. That was great. Lots of films. I had a film, well, a couple of films. City again. No, it was a great. It was a great time period oh, that they were fantastic. talking about. Yeah. yeah, I got into it because I was doing South Pacific on Broadway, mm -hmm. and Martin Martin Scorsese came to see the show and cast me from that. Wow. Okay, now so. South Pacific, what you were doing yes. here at Lincoln Center. That's right. 
was the best re, redone sh- – what do you call it again when it's a re- revival? revival. Yeah. Best, well, I hate to use that word. That's what they call it. Yeah. sounds yeah. like my – you know, the late Joey Reynolds. I died. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, they, that was the best show ever, ever of a revival. Well, you have great taste, Joey. And you know what? No, it was sold out and it's a subscription. And I yeah. went. I went. You know, it was very – I'll tell you something. I think I saw it with Mary Martin when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. I think I did. Yeah. I forget. I think it was her. Uh, but yeah, she but was in this, the original. She yeah. played it for a long time yeah, and then did. toured as well. But with you guys, it looked like we were at war with Japan again. Yeah. You know, or Okinawa. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was. It's, it's about. It's about the Pacific War, and and the music is so timely, and and the acting was so fresh, that it was. It was just. It was, that's an incredible show. It was a beautiful production and one that I'm super proud of. You were uh, great. Thank and you. And you lasted a long time. How? Yeah, that was we, supposed we to be a there, couple weeks. Exactly right. And we were there two and a half years. So how about that? You get tired of that? Uh, well, sometimes, yeah. But, you know, you have kids to put through college, and, you know, there yeah. are real realities yeah. of certain situations. Well, but I actually loved, loved, loved doing that show. Yeah, that was the, that was the best. That was the longest I'm, I'm, I'm talking about done. it like this because it really was. It was, it yeah. was an incredible well, surprise. And, and my grandchildren know him from video games. Oh, from video I, games, you, yeah. You yeah. do yeah. so many great voices. Yeah, it's voices over the really years cool. have done a bunch. Do yeah. one. <laughs> I, I don't know that I can even remember doing them. I'm, the last last one I did was honestly like ten years ago. So um, uh, from gosh, Grand Theft Auto. So it's a long time ago. Oh yeah. Well, I lived in Harlem. We had a lot of that. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't need any rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> well, I grew up here, yeah. so I'm originally from the Bronx and grew up in Queens. So it all sort of came naturally. And of course, absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Exactly right. I did a. Uh, an episode of that as well, a TV uh, film of that. They came to New York, and it was an episode, ironically, on this day called Gay. Um, and uh, those two gals are geniuses. And if they you don't me stop talking to me through that speaker, I'm going to go in there and throw a brick at you. <laughs> <laughs> they want to hear this violinist that we have here who's an oh, exceptional yes, let's player. Make sure we hear him. And Alex. we want to make sure that we get him on the air because we only got a one hour show. And it makes everybody crazy because we get close to the end of it and they say, okay, you know, you can't, you can't take extra time because we got to go into another show that's really relevant on uh, killing cockroaches or eating. Uh, uh, some <laughs> diet program or some stupid thing. Alexander uh, Alexander Markov is here. Hi, Alexander. How Hi, are man. you? It's good to have you. Thanks. Good to be here. Yeah. And you're a wonderful artist, and, and we, we want to give you the right time. Well, thank you. You didn't hear me yet, but thanks anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what, where, where are we going to see you perform? That should be Carnegie Hall. When? Next season. Don't have the date yet, but it's in the works. So, so we have somebody here who played Lincoln Center, somebody here who played Carnegie Hall, and here J and R we're still working over at uh, the Port Authority. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're actually on top of Madison Square Garden, so it's not. Yeah, a, that's not true. A, above yeah. Madison Square yeah. Garden. Yeah. All right, so so you played with Willie Nelson too, right? At one time. Uh, well, it was in the works, but it didn't come to you know didn't didn't do that. Didn't, didn't didn't do that. that. Oh. What what where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Russia. Where? Moscow. Oh no, the yeah. big city. The big city, yeah. <laughs> I've done my show from oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, Moscow and St. Petersburg, both. But West. I live in America long time. I live in the city now, in New York City. Yeah, in the city or you live in Brighton Beach? No, no, I live here in Central Park. So Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Lives in the park. In yeah, the park, yeah. <laughs> we have, we have enough, uh, enough Russia stuff going on the air these days. But what are you going to play for us tonight? Well, I'm going to start off with a little snippet of the Paganini Caprice number 24. Okay. And then I'm going to switch to this electric gold violin special design for me so so let me just Alexander Markov, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Boy, what a Thank classic more. More. feast more. this is. He's going to play this, uh, How long this we have? special gold guitar. Thank you. 
Sunday Night Live with the late Joey Reynolds Show.